Video from multiple police body cams is giving us a clearer picture of what happened as the NOPD responded to a domestic disturbance and the suspect came out of the home with a gun. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sharice Gibson. The suspect survived being shot by one of the officers and is facing new charges after he was released from the hospital. And the NOPD says its officers had every right to open fire on the man. It released new video of the incident today. Alyssa Curtis reports. On September 7th, NOPD officers showed up to the 3200 block of Bienville for a domestic call. Officers are trained that domestics have high volatility in them. They're uh, emotionally charged. When they got there shortly after 11 p.m., NOPD says the officers didn't know the person who ran across the street was a suspect in the domestic call. They say at the time, the man, who we now know as Justin Martin, was not armed. But Martin eventually comes back out, this time with a semi-automatic gun. Put the gun down! Officers ordered him to drop the weapon, but he refused. NOPD says Martin was on the top porch of the two-story home and pointing the gun at the officers. They tell him to put the gun down, but instead they say he walked closer towards them. NOPD officers fired first with two shots. Then Martin fires at the officers three times. He drops the gun to the ground and it goes off again. It appears that the officer's action was within our policy. Eventually, they were able to handcuff him, but Martin was hit with a bullet in his abdomen. An officer on the scene who has medical training helped him. While the investigation into the incident is ongoing, NOPD Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick commended the officer's calm demeanor. The training and the mindset of calmness and intentionality by the officer keeping his head was something um, I think we were all very uh, proud. Martin is now facing two counts of attempted first degree murder, two counts of aggravated assault on a peace officer, battery on a dating partner with strangulation, and resisting an officer with violence. Alyssa Curtis, WWL, Louisiana. The NOPD says the investigation into that shooting is still ongoing. They say it's a two part process to ensure the officer's actions were in line with the Constitution as well as the department's own policies.